Okay, I'm going to talk about something that I've been putting off for quite some time now, and it happens to be an old camera that I have. Um, but it's a very interesting one, because it's one of the very first digital cameras. Now, of course, before digital cameras, you had to use one of these, which is an SLR film camera, and I'm sure you've seen them. Uh, let's get them in focus. Um, you probably still, a lot of, uh, still see a lot of people using film SLRs today, because they're very cheap and you can get some pretty nice images out of them. Um, of course the 35mm uh, film goes in the back there and then you've taken all your photos, you set them up to be processed and then you get your pictures at the end. Okay so let's say you were a journalist and you didn't have the time to send your film off to be processed because you had to do some journalism on the ground and get your stories on your website as quickly as possible. Now Sony had the great idea of using a camera which stored its images on floppy disks as opposed to some of the other digital cameras of the time which used a built-in storage and you had to transfer it via serial cable and it took rather a long time. A uh, good example would probably be the Apple Quick Take, I believe it was called, and similar Kodak cameras. Well, this is something I've had in my collection for a while and I haven't talked about it. It's the Sony Mavica. Uh, I believe this is the 71 uh, Yep, the FD71. It's got a lens on the top there. It's not the greatest of lenses, but I mean, hey, I mean, it takes photos. What else do you want it to do? On the back, you have a very small LCD display and all the controls you'd expect to see. Switch between the camera and playback modes. Turn the flash on and off, turn the LED backlight on and off, and an optical zoom. Um, the disc eject system works a bit Strangely, you have to hold down this button and pull the lever and then wow, the floppy disk comes out the side. Now this drive is actually a, a double speed drive, it's um, a little bit quicker than a regular PC floppy drive would be. So, let's power it on. It's going to show you an image that I took earlier. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can see the screen is not the best of quality, but it's a 640 by 480 image that you get at the end of this. Um, which was okay for digital images in 1998, when most PC monitors were still at 800 by 600. So, I'm going to try and take a photo here. Uh, there we go. Focus. And then you can hear it saving the image. <laughs> it's still very strange to see and hear floppy disks on digital cameras. And there you go, that's exactly the same as the image I took before. And I believe you can store up to about 25 photos on a single floppy disk. So that's pretty good going really, but they are very, very, very tiny images. And to keep the uh, the date and time running it has one of those button batteries same as a lot of PC motherboards and the actual battery interestingly <coughs> is the same battery that Sony Handycams take so you can just use a Sony camcorder charger which was <laughs> really handy for me but yeah these cameras are pretty fun to play with if you can pick one up for a for a fair amount I mean I wouldn't pay insane amounts of money for them, they're not that rare. <clears throat> but yeah, they they really are interesting. And of course, I'll put those images up at the end of the video so you can see what they look like. But yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about. I probably won't get around to, to doing much else with this. I'm not going to use it for photography, that's for sure. But um, yeah, it's a little curiosity.